Hey guys, welcome back. This video is going to be a video on a, another spring look. This is going to be more of a corally look. Um, I literally did it very randomly I was just like you know what I'm gonna film while I do my makeup and this is the look that I came up with I just changed I don't even know if you can tell probably not I changed my hair just a tad bit just went a little bit lighter spring is in season and we're about to be there so I need to just bronze it up so um, I just decided to do this look anyway um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you soon and first step for the eyes, I will be picking up Max Paint Pot in Painterly with a synthetic brush and applying the space all over my lid up to my crease. Using Makeup Geek's Creme Brulee with a fluffy brush, I will be applying this color all over my crease as a transition color. Picking up Makeup Geek's color in Cocoa Bear, which is a burnt reddish brown, I will be focusing placing this color strictly into the socket of my crease with Sigma's E25 blending brush for an added boost of color. I will also be blending Coco Bear underneath my waterline. To add more depth to this look, I'm using Makeup Geek's shadow and bitten on the outer corners of my eyes and blending this shade into Coco Bear. Remember to keep blending and blending and blending because it will look crazy, but once you blend it, it will look completely okay. Using Max Pink Bronze Pigment with the Sigma Flat Shader Brush, I will be spraying my Evian Mist on my brush to intensify this pigment and prevent fallout. I will be packing the loose pigment strictly on my lids. If you don't have this shade, trust me, you're missing out. It's so beautiful and you have to get it. Going back with that burgundy tone, bitten, I will be using this color again in my crease. I just want to make sure that I intensify this color and I have a good pop to my shadow. Since I definitely want to add a highlighter to this look, I will be using MAC Cosmetics Eyeshadow in Nylon with the pencil brush and focusing on the inner part of my tear duct. Picking up Inglot's Gel Liner in number 77, which is probably the most pigmented black that I've ever used, with an angled brush, I will be creating a wing liner on my eyes. And 
you guys would like to see a tutorial specifically on wing liner, please let me know and comment down below. Using my new favorite mascara, the L'Oreal Telescopic, I will be adding a coat of mascara onto my top and bottom lashes. Using Urban Decay's 24-7 eyeliners in a black, I will be placing this color in my waterline. Using a tiny shader brush, I will be smudging the black eyeliner underneath my eyes. And the most fun step, placing on false lashes. Here, I am using double dose lashes from Dose of Color. With some black duo adhesive, I am placing the scoop very carefully onto the band of the lash. Make sure that the most important step before applying on false lashes is letting the glue get nice and tacky. So give it about a few seconds before placing the lashes onto your eyes. Since I already have my foundation and my concealer on, I am using MAX Medium Deep in the Mineralized Powder with the Sigma F35 brush and I will be placing this onto the cheekbones and blending it all around all over my face. After bronzing, I'll be picking up this beautiful peachy tone from NARS called Torrid and placing this color onto the apples of my cheeks. Using that loose pigment and pink bronze that we used on our lid, I will be using the E35 brush once again and just placing this on top of the bronzer and the blush that we used before for a nice dewy bronzy look. It's going to definitely give you a pearlized look so it will look beautiful when your skin hits against the sun. Going with medium dark's mineralized pressed powder for MAC, I will be placing this powder all over my face just to finish off the look. Here I am just using leftover foundation and just applying this all over my lips to nude out the lips to get the full pigment of the lip color that I want to apply. And here I'm applying on Kardashian's Beauty Color and Sea Coral all over my lips for that beautiful springy corally look. And the last most important step to this look, I will be spraying my face with Evian Mist Spray to give you that beautiful dewy skin finish. And that will finish off this look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any comments or questions, please comment down below. Remember to thumbs up this video and subscribe to my channel. I love you guys and I will see you soon. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Yeah, I'm eating a girl gossip eat. Uh, 
Anyway, 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 how? Much.